Hey guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Louie. I'm going to be doing a reading for Aquarius. Just an energy check-in. All right, whatever wants to come out, okay? If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, please check the description box below. All the information will be found there. Okay, if you guys don't mind, please smash the like button. It is a free way to donate to the channel. So smash that like button and subscribe. All right, let's see what do we got for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What do we got? What do we got going on for Aquarius? Spirit. All right, so you got here defensive. All right, some of you are needing to defend yourself, or some of you, you need to be shielded. Okay, some protection shield or something like that. It says here, unconscious resistance to facing unresolved issues. Explore them with curiosity. For some of you here, you have a shield up and you're not letting anybody in. Okay, this is kind of like, you're very defensive. For some of you, um, there could be like somebody reaching out to you or something like that. It could be another Aquarius. Look, there's a star right there. For some of you, this is you. Explore them with curiosity. So explore things with curiosity. You could still be facing some sort of unresolved issue. Okay, yeah, manipulative. For some of you, you guys were manipulated really bad. Okay, using tactics and strategies to influence or control others for personal gain. Okay, so you guys could be dealing with somebody like that. A spider could be significant. Give me one more. You need to defend yourself from anybody who's manipulative. I feel like you guys are doing that. Any type of manipulation or anybody that's trying to gain control over you. You guys have a defense mechanism that's already set up. It's almost like a lesson that you've learned. Okay, so it's very hard for you to even bring that down. One more. Entitled. Somebody feels entitled to your gifts. That's what I just saw. All right, expect, uh, expecting special treatment without earning it. Be grateful for what you have. Insecurity. All right, so let's see. Let's jump in and see what we got here. Virgo energy. Aquarius. Virgo towards Capricorn. All right. What is this um, energy? Angel guides, spirit guides, if you're living like defensive. All right. Unconsciously resisting. Unconscious resistance to facing unresolved issues for some of you here um there's somebody that's coming in or something like that or you feel like going off on somebody all right don't act on your impulse all right this is the knight of swords knight of swords is very unpredictable all right and you have it here with defensive somebody feels defensive okay or they need the they have the feeling that they need to defend themselves about something so they might be calling you up but it's going to be some sort of hasty communication okay for some of you here, um, do not rush in, okay? There could be somebody that wants to rush in and have a relationship with you or something like that, but you're defensive towards that because you've been manipulated before. All right, what's this Knight of Swords? For some of you here, you guys are dating somebody new and you're realizing this is kind of like a repeating pattern, all right? There's a lot of fights or something like that. Somebody's coming to fight. Hmm. <laughs> Five of Wands, or somebody's in com in competition, and you guys need to shield it, shield yourself from them. What's this Five of Wands, Knight of Swords, sir? What is the Knight of Swords with the Five of Wands? The Ace of Swords. Somebody's coming with some sort of clarity. You've had some sort of aha moment. Okay, with the Ace of Swords. You spoke your truth or something like that and it's causing fights. Somebody's coming in to speak some sort of truth. All right. What's the Five of Wands? Aries, Leo, Sag. For some of you, this could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What's the Five of Wands? Yeah, it could be with family. Ten of Pentacles.
For some of you here, this person has unresolved issues with their family. They want to rush in and bring you some sort of truth, but they can't because of the family. Or they have a family already. Okay, or something like that with the Ten of Pentacles. What's the Ten of Pentacles? But somebody is definitely very curious about you or something like that. They're trying to get some sort of truth about you. All right, what's this 10? Yeah, the Fool. It's about you, Aquarius energy. All right, because they see you kind of like in this energy where you're taking a leap of faith. There's some sort of innocence here. For some of you, you guys could be traveling somewhere. The Ten of Pentacles with the Fool. You guys are taking a leap of faith and you guys are making, you guys are getting legacy wealth here. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles. What's the Fool with the Ten of Pentacles? King of Swords. Yeah, that's you. For some of you here, you're cutting off family. Or you need to cut off somebody in your family here. Okay, because you're over here minding your own business. All right, but then the King of Swords is somebody who needs to speak their truth at the same time. There's some sort of fight here. Ten of Pentacles is showing up as family. So some of you are being defensive towards family. All right, unconscious restraints to, face, uh, to facing unresolved issues. So some of you still have some sort of unresolved issues, maybe in a family dynamic. Give me one more. The Hierophant. All right, you guys, uh, Taurus energy. You guys could be like professors, teachers of some sort. You guys are connected to Source. All right, some of you have cut off people that um, are not into the same belief system or something like that that has to do with you with the Hierophant. Okay, kind of like traditional beliefs. Some of you here... Um, that's what you believe in. You have conventional, traditional beliefs um, of some sort. What's this hair font? I don't want to really get in, into that that much. All right, for some of you here, you guys are about, or somebody's planning to reach out to you, or you guys are about to meet somebody. Somebody's planning to reach out to you. They could be at a distance for some of you. With the hair font, two of wands. What's this Hierophant to a wand? For some of you, this is a Taurus. Four of Cups. Yeah, because they feel like they had some sort of missed opportunity with you. Okay, so. What's manipulative? Using tactics or strategies to influence or control others for personal gain when it comes to love. What's this Ace of Cups? This could be new love. If you guys have somebody new and they start showing you that they're like anybody or they remind you of somebody, okay, you're gonna, uh-uh. That's not gonna work out. What's this Ace of Cups? Ace of Cups with the Six of Cups. That's somebody from your past, you guys. This is returning to one's old roots. This is something from your past, a reconciliation. Um... Somebody has you manipulated here for some of you. Maybe because you have a child with them. What's this Ace of Cups with the Six of Cups? I'm manipulative. Sagittarius energy. Yeah, you're over here. You're like an earth angel. Okay, you're needing to balance. You're bringing balance and harmony into your life at this time with the temperance showing up. Okay, you're like an alchemist as well. You're mixing things and stuff like that to um, bring in what's meant for you, not... For some of you, it's somebody from your past. What's the Six of Cups? What's the Six of Cups? The Sun with the Three of Swords. Somebody, if some of you, is somebody from your past. Okay, they're very manipulative over you. Okay, Three of Swords. You've been heartbroken by this person before. Okay, some of you are exposing this person. Or maybe that's your happiness. That's who you find happiness with. All right? For some of you, you guys need to go ahead and, and start loving yourself a little bit more. Okay, and let go of this person. 
okay, because they're very manipulative. They're using tactics and strategies to influence or control others for personal gain. All right, they might come in and love bomb you and bring you the flowers and and here you go. I have changed. I'm an earth angel. You know, I am all love the sun. And really, it's because they've been placed in a third party situation too. What's the three of swords? Where they broke up with the person they were with. For some of you, this person is in a relationship and they're everything that they put you through, they're, they're getting it as well. All right, Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, cutting that shit off. What's the Queen of Swords with the Three of Swords? The Ten of Wands. For some of you here, this is a burden that you're still, it's almost like somebody could be manipulating something into, so that you could continue thinking of this or something like that. All right, so Ten of Wands, there's a lot of burdens here. But it's okay because you're the queen of swords. You're like, come at me. Swords beats wands. They could just cut them little pieces, move them around. Okay, and see clearly. Ten of wands. What's the ten of wands here? With the queen of swords and the sun. All right, for some of you here, they're showing you something or they're saying something here, but they're not really exposing their true selves. All right, they're in the ten of wands. All right, they have a lot of burdens and they're coming back to give you five wands so that you could carry that load with them the fuck the strength card leo energy heavy leo what's the strength card with the seven of wands yeah you need to set some sort of healthy boundaries okay some of you could be very confident right now or something like that all right it could be a leo that's coming in but you need to set some sort of healthy boundaries for some of you you're defending yourself towards this person this person could come in with some sort of news or something like that and you're like i don't even want to fucking hear it okay why are you waking me up all right with the strength card because you have already gained some sort of strength and control of the situation for some of you here this person thinks that they're going to come back in and control the situation but you're over here ready you're ready you're like i'm gonna put my shoe on fuck it i'm just gonna put my sock on just let them know real quick i'm over here and i'm defending myself setting healthy boundaries you're not going to come in this and disrespect or manipulate or disturb my peace okay namaste stay the fuck away 87 could be significant for some of you 78 what's this seven of wands the nine of wands you've been the wounded warrior you're keeping and maintaining boundaries with this person <laughs> 79 could be significant 89 could be significant You're keeping and maintaining boundaries. Like, you're not letting this person in. So, good for you. Alright, so you have here entitled. Expect, expecting special treatment without earning it. Be grateful for what you have. Somebody feels entitled to your gifts here. Or whatever it is that you've been working on. Whether it's a business, whether it's whatever. It's a gift. Alright, it comes from source. What is this entitled? Yeah, they want to come in. And share it with you all right somebody feels entitled here generosity why are you not giving me okay if you have so much six of um pentacles virgo taurus capricorn what is this six of pentacles with entitled what's the six of pentacles with entitled here a judgment you had some sort of wake-up call all right this person could be under judgment for some of you they could even be going through some sort of legal battle because they went ahead and did something they felt entitled to something they didn't work for it so this could be like a scheme um i'm just picking up a scam or something like that this person could like make money doing something unethical what's the judgment the judgment you guys have gone through an awakening here all right for some of you here you're gonna have more gifts coming in okay so keep on 
doing what you're doing when it comes to spirituality and stuff like what what's the judgment with the six of pentacles when it comes to spirituality and stuff like that right you got the six of swords you're moving into calmer waters you're leaving this shit behind you're leaving anybody who did not reciprocate anything towards you okay you've judged them all right you've forgiven them at the same time you've learned how to forgive them all right with the six of pentacles that's like generosity so yeah i'll go ahead and forgive you let bygones be bygones but i'm moving on with my life all right for some of you here um there's a judgment call and maybe you'll you'll be moving like from one you'll be moving like uh, at a distance what's the six of swords definitely into calmer waters calmer shores if you may all right the empress you're going to be very fertile okay some of you here could be pregnant but you're going to be very fertile with ideas very nurturing this embodies all the queens okay so logical nur nurturing um psychic okay very intuitive that's taurus libra what's this uh six of swords with the empress The Ten of Swords. What's the... I feel like you're letting it go. Okay. What is the Six of Swords with the Empress and the Ten of Swords? For some of you here, this could be a Divine Feminine here. You guys are calling it quits. You're letting it go because you hit rock bottom or something like that. Ten of Swords is like being backstabbed, betrayed. Somebody that wanted you done like done and over with um what's this ten of swords what's the ten of swords the queen of cups me a mother figure give me one more Some of you guys are are psychics, okay, and that could come from like a mother figure or maybe like your mother, somebody in your family and your lineage or something like that. You guys are very intuitive, okay, but um, with the judgment showing up there, that could be like a gift that's coming in, okay, from your ancestors. Maybe your ancestor was like a psychic or something like that, all right? The Seven of Pentacles, you're going to start seeing the fruits of your labor, all right? There's somebody here that could be kind of like in, in the middle of something, this could be a mother figure or a cancer pisces scorpio okay trying to make things end for you when it comes to your business or something like that with the seven of pentacles you have been working hard and like with the empress energy like giving birth to new ideas okay just literally coming up with new shit every single day you have a new thing and you're moving into calmer water and it's because guides uh, your ancestors with the judgment are guiding you okay but then you have this water sign or a mother figure grandmother figure whatever who, whoever this person is this queen of cups clarify the queen of cups they want to see you like ending like something ending for you it could be like your somebody that you were with their mother okay or it could be your baby mama or your baby daddy who's acting like a woman like a bit like you know queen of cups it could be their mother whatever what's the queen of cups here probably gonna give me the queen of wands what's the queen of cups the ten of pentacles the, the ten of cups all right it's family it's family what's the ten of swords three of cups for some of you here yeah they want to see it's like three people here they're like and then the ten of cups that could be your family they want to see you like end something okay maybe even end something with the person that you're with or the person that you are interested in their family is doing that to them okay three of they don't want a reconciliation with the ten of swords they want it to end okay for some of you guys you want it to end you don't want this shit anymore the three of cups no you don't want to celebrate you don't even want to deal with these people okay or anybody that's connected to these people 
all right, with the Ten of Swords. You've already healed from this shit with the Nine of Wands showing up here and the Seven of Wands. You've already defended yourself many, many times and you set healthy boundaries and you put up this wall that doesn't allow them to. For some of you, these people get together and they like laugh or whatever the fuck because of your gifts, all right? If you guys are like psychic or, some, or something like that, these people like get together, they drink and they watch you. Okay, that's for some of you. Um, if you guys do something, yeah, look, Seven of Cups in the reverse, hallucinations, all right? This person's hallucinating. They're very confused. All right, all these options that they have, they don't have not one fucking option. Very indecisive, daydreaming, they fantasize about you. What is that? Um th whatever. They're still reminiscing about shit that you guys did. Okay? with the seven of cups because they're fantasizing they're daydreaming and then the three of cups they could be even fantasizing about a reconciliation of some sort okay but there's somebody here in the midst in the middle trying to end shit okay or i don't know the old lady needs to die i don't know what's this what's this queen of wands i heard that shit like loud and fucking clear king of pentacles queen of uh cups king of pentacles What's the Queen of Cups with the King of Pentacles? The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody doesn't let go. Okay, for some of you, you guys are dealing with a Virgo Taurus, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, okay? Capricorn, heavy Capricorn. But they don't let them go. They don't, it's almost like they're hoarding him, they're, they're, or them, or she, or he. It doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter in tarot. But. With the Four of Pentacles, that's possessive energy. They don't want to let them go or something, or they feel like they cannot let go of somebody. They cannot betray their mother or something like that. The mother, all they want is a ten of fucking swords. All they want is fucking endings for this person. Okay, so this could be like a battle here of some sort. This could deal with money. Okay, so the mother might want somebody to stay with somebody for money. Okay, because they're fucking stable. So, this person here could be, like, turning their back on love on a Ten of Cups. They're turning their back on love to to please family. Because family comes first. Their family comes first. That's crazy, guys. That was a lot. What else? <laughs> that was, like, a damn puzzle. What's this... Queen of Wands, I knew that shit was going to come out. And they're manipulative. They're very manipulative. Okay, they could be witches. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Queen of Wands. For some of you here, this mother figure is, like, sacrificing their child for, like, teaching their child to be, I don't know, a hoe. Six of Pentacles. I don't know. They're teaching this mother figure here, this Cancerian, um, Pisces, or could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this mother figure, it's a mother figure. This mother figure here, or it's somebody who you go to for counseling or somebody that gives good advice. Okay. This bitch right here is giving bad advice. Queen of Wands. They could light a lot of candles. They might have a black cat or something like that. They're fucking witches. All right, they are giving, they're not letting go of their child or something like that. So they could be in this two of cups. Look at it in the bottom of the deck. What was this? The two of swords. Yeah, this is like, this kid, this person here is manipulated completely 100%. They can't see through the bullshit. You guys did. So that's why you're not together. Two years could be significant. All right, Libra energy with the two of swords here. All right, this talks about being blindfolded with the ability to remove that blindfold, see things for what they truly are. Okay, it also talks about balancing something out, all right, but you're between a rock and a hard place. You need to make a decision here. For some of you here, this person has made or taught this person to choose money. A relationship based on obligation lacks dignity, guys, so that's what this person could be dealing with. But you guys are dignified. You guys are the queen of swords. You guys are logical. You guys are the king of swords, the... The person here, Aquarius, you guys are good. The hangman, Pisces energy. Some of you could be Aquarius, Pisces, Cuspers. All right, the hangman. 
you're cutting yourself loose from the hangman from like um being delayed okay for some of you here this person wanted to sacrifice you all right kind of like keep you delayed for their for their pleasure for their well-being expecting special treatment without earning it okay kind of like chilling all right um let me pull one of these Angel guys, here guys, have a little bit of like, precise messages for my Aqua, Summon Rising Venus and North Node. I feel like you guys are cutting yourself loose from all this bullshit and you're moving on. Okay. But in defensive mode at the same time. So truth, yeah. You're living your truth. Alright. What? Uh, give me one for Aquarius. Someone rising Venus in North Node. Alright, so you got here and got me desire. Alright, somebody desires you. Okay, and for some of you, this is the number eight. That's sexual energy. Somebody is sexually desiring you. But they can't come in. <laughs> Alright, so goddess of desire, Ashanti, Akan. The temple is the conjurers. The element is air. So Angami is the triple moon goddess of Ashanti every new day. This mother goddess rebirths the sun, shooting life into us with her moon bow. Her lunar rays illuminate the soul. Okay, so dream bigger. Puny desires constrict you. Your desires create your life, so allow them to flow boldly. All right, what, you, what do you really desire? Get specific. So whatever it is that you really want, write it down on a piece of paper. I want... I want my my man to look like this with like you know like practical magic you know how she said i want him to have one green eye and one blue eye somebody could have a green eye blue eye all right but anyway get specific what do you want them not to be like your past them not to be like this idiot all right them being fickle and shit like that you don't want that you want somebody that really wants to be with you okay and chooses you all the time okay so what do you really desire get specific see it smell it feel it Call it in now. What you desire desires you. Does your desire flow from love or from fear? So manifestations that come from fear-based desires keep you safe and small. Desires that come for your from your soul expand your world. So what I desire desires me. Give me Sagittarius energy too. You could be dealing with a Sag. With the bow and arrow. Alright. Um, let me pull some of these really quick. And you guys, you guys will do a little link for my aquas. And you guys, you guys will do a link for Aquarius. Summon Rising Venus and North Node. Who is this Knight of Wands? The Knight of Swords here? Who's the Knight of Swords? with the five of wands coming in rushing in trying to fight with you all right dark entities are using these people to work against you these people are fucking like manipulated here all right the person causing you negativity is a fire sign so aries leo sag i saw that earlier so knight of Knight of Swords. What's this Knight of Swords? Unexplained body welts, bruises, and scratches. They secretly keep tabs on you. All right, this person could be gay or on the down low. For some of you. The person causing you negativity is a fire sign. They have dark entities to work against you. Okay, for some of you, they are causing you negativity because you're speaking up some sort of truth. Okay, what is this... Um, Hold on. Where is it? What is this Ace of Cups with the Six of Cups and this Three of Swords? Altering your values and morals on making life decisions. Yeah, you guys, you're letting your past go. You're guy, you guys are letting anything 
that put you in a third party. Whoever put you in a third party before, you're letting that shit go. You guys are valuing, valuing yourself, All right? For some of you, you're picking new love because you know how to value yourself now. Okay, so you got here manipulative. Who's this manipulative? Using tactics and strategies to influence or control other personal gain. Others for personal gain. This person could work for... Somebody here is like attached to someone because they have no other choice. Because of money. Because of... Because they could be providing for their family or something like that. Somebody here is a freeloader, y'all. Clarify. Give me one more from Manipulative with that Three of Swords. Yeah, they claim I did it first, knowing damn well that they got inspired by you. Right? They're manipulative. That could be somebody in competition with you. With Ten of Pentacles. That could be a family member. Yeah, copycat. Somebody that's trying to do everything like you. Okay, copycat trying to be just like you and everything that you do. For some of you here, there's somebody... <laughs> You know, I'm also picking up here that there's somebody here that's in a relationship, but they're having problems with their person, okay, because they saw that Three of Swords. Whatever they did to you is coming back to them with that Queen of Swords, okay? Some of you could have done a return back to sender or something like that, but that person that they're with, okay, they try to look for you and another person, and you look just like them or something like that, and now this person is realizing it, so they put them in a third party. They're carrying a lot of burdens. They could be fighting, fighting a lot or something like that. Because you might do something, the same thing or something like that, trying to be just like you and everything that they do. So now you got this person competing with you and now you got their person competing with you. Okay, so fun. That's why you got so many fucking queens and kings showing up here. What's this queen of wands? Clarify the queen of wands. Trying to like blindfold somebody here. All right, with the Two of Swords, the Queen of Wands and the Two of Swords here. Trying to blindfold somebody here so they cannot make a decision. This is indecisive. So that you can stay at a stalemate. Okay, so what's this, two, what's this Queen of Wands? Clarify the Queen of Wands. You will witness their karma. For some of you here, they could be sick or something like that. And that's how you're going to witness their karma. What's the Queen of Wands here? All right, they secretly... And I put this back. They secretly keep tabs on you. All right. On your every move. Sending you the evil eye. They're covering their face, but they're only showing their eyes. Something about eyes could be significant. Their eyes could be significant. Somebody could be. I don't know. What's the queen of wands here? Something about somebody's eyes could be significant. What's the Queen of Wands? Yeah, it's unintentional. Evil Eye, unintentional evil eye. They don't realize that they're sending you the evil eye with their words and their actions. Queen of Wands. For some of you, this could be your own family, y'all. What's this Queen of... Who's this Queen of Cups? Clarify the Queen of Cups. Personality disorder, they don't know how to be themselves. What's the Queen of Cups? Possess a talisman to amplify um, good vibes. You, Whenever you go to like your mother-in-law's house or some shit like that, this, this is giving me mother-in-law. <laughs> Somebody's mother-in-law. All right, this is not gonna be for everybody. All right, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Who is this Queen of Cups? This Queen of Cups could be a man, could be a woman, it doesn't matter. All right, Mars retrogrades, impulsive rage of anger, hostility, major blowouts, fights, and violence. This person is very, like, unpredictable. I'm very violent, okay, or kind of like, hmm. Queen of Cups, and they're emotionally fucking crazy. <laughs> All right, so very insecure, very defensive. What's this Three of Cups? This person hating on you has narcissistic behaviors. What's the Three of Cups? They get with their friends. They're all narcissists. What's the Three of Cups? Recharge your energy. Distance yourself. Take a break. Vacation. Pamper. Indulgence. Do things that make you happy. 
Okay, so get out there, guys. Do things that make you happy. Go out with friends. Give me one more. Amethyst. Use amethyst, guys. Aquarius energy. Amethyst is to, like, control any evil. Um, it says here, psychic protection, control spiritual energies while dreaming. It can help you with insomnia and nightmares. Some of you guys could be having, like, a lot of nightmares and shit like that. They could be attacking your sleep state. All right, so, let's see. What do we got for Aquarius? Summon rising Venus and North Node. And you guys here, guys. Clear and precise messages. Just gonna pull a couple of these. Love life. Free from problems and money troubles. Enjoy the passion of love. Love and be loved. I feel like you guys are gonna meet somebody here soon. Or this is all happening so that they can put you in the right path where you're going to meet your true soulmate. And this one you're not going to take for granted or something like that. I'm not saying that you took it for granted. This is going to be an equal give and take for some of you. What is this love life? All right, you got here endings. For some of you, your love life is ending so that this new love life comes in. The cycle is over. It's time to make, uh, for you to make a change. Rebirth. It's time to say goodbye. For some of you here, you guys have definitely let go of somebody that's been narcissistic and shit. Savings, you've been saving on the down low. You haven't been telling anybody anything. You always need to put something off for a bad day. What's this, piggy bank? Some of you could have a piggy bank. Somebody winning, yeah. So you guys could be like winning something, but save it. All right, sooner or later, luck comes to everyone. Don't spend it all at once. For some of you, this could be like money and a lump sum of something or some sort. Okay, it could be like a prize, it could be a scratch off, whatever, like that. Yeah, it's a gift. It could be a gift from God, guys. All right, for some of you, this is a, this is a gift that you possess, that this could be from like your lineage or something like that, and that's how you get money. Okay, but, but you're still winning. You don't have to take orders from anybody. You will discover new talents that will lead to new opportunities. All right, for some of you, your, your gifts are amplifying or something about that. Use opportunities that arise. Okay, what's gift? What's gift? All right, yeah, it's a surprise, All right? So, an unexpected turn can bring positive change. Be ready for change. Somebody's birthday could be up or something like that. Um, Or you could meet somebody in a birthday party or something like that. But yeah, it's a surprise. For some of you, you probably don't remember like your wishes. It was in February, but something that you wish for in your birthday is coming in now okay so that could be significant something that you've been lighting candles on and manifesting whatever it's coming in my niece is having a fit she wants me to go play with her so bad so i'm gonna finish this up really quick all right unlimited resources are coming in but time management is essential for your growth all right your heart chakra compassion forgiveness unconditional love I accept and love openly and easily. The energy is gaining momentum. All right, guys, you're opening your heart chakra to everything. Your crown chakra is completely open too, and it's good. It's aligned. All right, your consciousness, inspiration, spirituality. I understand in here clearly. You guys have some sort of like, um, you're realizing a lot of things at this time. Prioritize what you're giving your time to and who you grind for. All right, so you guys are doing that. You guys are putting things in priority, and you guys are definitely moving on with your lives. All right, and it's good things coming. All right, so sending you all positive vibes, sending you peace, love, prosperity, and every single one of you to every single one of you guys. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, please check the description box below. If you guys want, uh, oh no, if you guys don't want, go ahead and like the video. Please like, share, subscribe, comment below. All right, so sending you peace, love, and prosperity. I love you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.